Hey guys, Paul here with Road Trip Tiny Trucker. So before we get started today, a couple quick disclaimers. I'm um, going to be do trying to do this from uh, home. I'm going to be looking to the right a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, my recording software's over there and I'd, I'm learning this. So bear with me. Second thing, bear with the fact that my bed's behind me. Uh, my wife's seven months pregnant and I've officially been kicked out of the bedroom until the baby's born because I keep waking her up at night apparently. So we're going to talk today about lane rates i keep seeing posts on facebook and those posts have to do with people bragging about the rates that they're getting bragging about three dollars a mile bragging about... first off don't look at facebook and look at guys on facebook and think oh they're they're doing awesome therefore i'm going to do awesome um people that are posting things on facebook are only posting their good stuff not their bad stuff second thing three dollars a mile is not good right now Okay, it's average. The market goes up and down. So when you're bragging about three dollars a mile, it right now, no. A year ago, okay. Right now, you just look uneducated. You don't know the markets. The markets. If you're running load boards, the markets. You need to understand the markets. And one of the very, in my opinion, these are my opinions. One of the very important things you guys are going to need to do is get the pro versions of these load boards. If you're not running the pro versions of these load boards then you don't know what that market's doing. You don't know what a good rate is. $2 a mile might be good in one lane, and it might be pure crap in another lane. So let me show you an example, right? Here's some loads, and I'm not going to get in the details of the, our load boards here, but I'm going to show you a few different uh, a few different things. Uh, first things first. Here's I'm sure most of you have seen this. If you're not running the pro versions, your load board's going to look different than this because they update slower, than the the ones I pay for, so I get to see the good loads first before you do. Uh, that's one one advantage of running their pro versions. The second thing is knowing the lane rates, knowing the market. Bragging about three dollars a mile from New Orleans, uh, or two dollars a mile rather from New Orleans to Waverly, New York, just shows that you don't know that the that lane is on average paying two seventy nine a mile, right? Thirty five ninety four. And before we get you know, I, somebody's going to say, well, we're running hot shots. Hot shots can't haul 37,500 pounds. If it is a full load, look right here, F, if it is a full load, and I'm not searching for partials right now, why would I partial things when rates are $3 a mile? I would have to get three partials at over a dollar a mile each, dollar fifty a mile, just to and run around, pick up three partials just to make what I can make on one load. So if it says an F, I don't care if it's two pounds. They want a dedicated truck. If they do not want to allow it to be partialed, then and then it is a full truck load. A full truck load is one of three things. It either weighs, you know, it maxes out a weight on a, on a big rig. It maxes out a length on a big rig. Or the customer wants a dedicated truck. That is also a full truck load. That's very important. Um, and the, for those of you that say that's that's not realistic, I've, I've run three hot shots for two years now, and we've run only full truck loads at full truck load rates. I can show you my rates. My my hot shots run in the same same rates as my big rigs. Now, it's way harder, and I did a video on that last week. Uh, it's way harder to do that, but there you go. So knowing your lane rates, you need to know these. If you're too cheap to run the pro versions of the load boards, then you probably need to drive for somebody. Because if you're not banking money, not you should not be spending right now. You should be banking your money because this market is going to crash. It always does, right? The market comes up. A bunch of people see people posting on Facebook how much money they're making. That's just the average rate, but it's good good pay. The average rate is good right now. I'm not saying it isn't, but then they spend beyond their means. They are still living paycheck to paycheck, and then when the market drops back down and rates are back low again they go out of business it's a it's just a cycle this is the way it's the way it is and i'm trying to help people to understand that to understand that the market is volatile that two dollars a mile is not is might be good three months ago and it might be bad now depending on what the market is doing right and you need to know that and this is one of the useful tools now dat also does this where i can actually just look up a lane so let's say i'm going from kansas city to i don't know, let's pick a uh let's pick a tiny place winnebago minnesota i used to live there a long time ago 
it's going to tell you what that lane is paying. That lane is paying about 282 a mile. So that trip, a 390 mile trip, um, is 1102. Now, are these numbers perfect? No, because what they're doing is they're basing this on markets, Kansas City market to Minneapolis market, okay? Because Winnebago is close to Minneapolis. Then they're saying, all right, the trip to Winnebago is 390. The, the Kansas City to Minneapolis market is paying about 282, and then they they just multiply that by 390 to get your uh, what that trip should be costing. Now, that is that always perfect? No, but it gives you a good idea. $2 a mile from Kansas City to Winnebago, you're getting taken advantage of. Um, I mean, they're paying up to, the range is up to $3.30 a mile. Um, when you see people bragging, and a little tangent here, when you see people bragging on Facebook, ignore it. I try, I do every now and then, ignore me. Sometimes you, I get a little bit of a big head and I brag about something. Ignore me. Ignore people posting their good weeks. Please ignore it. Because they don't post their bad weeks. They don't post that their truck was down for two weeks and they made zero dollars. They don't post about their um, their weeks that they ran like crazy and made a dollar twenty-five a mile. They don't post those loads. Okay. They're only posting, and most of them, half of them are lying about what they're making. You know, they don't know how to calculate, hey, I'm making $2 a mile on this partial and $1 a mile on this, so I'm making $3 a mile. No, they're not. If you, they're, they're probably making two twenty. dollars Once you factor in all the running around and everything, you're probably making two twenty dollars a mile all miles. So please, guys, do not, um, just ignore bragging posts on Facebook and YouTube and so on and so forth. Um, for the most part, look at the data, look at, try to get through to the people that try to see, okay, uh, watch the people on Facebook, watch the people that are bragging. The people I've been watching that are bragging a year ago are no longer on Facebook anymore. I wonder where they went. They probably went out of business and now they're not on Facebook and nobody knows. Nobody will ever remember that person who was bragging all the time and they went out of business. Okay. So. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys I'm a huge expert. I've been doing this for two years, a little over two years now. We're not, I'm not an expert at it, okay? By no means am I an expert at it. So take everything I say with a huge grain of salt. Please do. Please take everything that I say with a huge grain of salt because these are my opinions. These are things that I've been trying to learn, and I'm, I utilize things incorrectly all the time. I make mistakes all the time, but... But I feel like this is such an important piece that you really need to know what these lane rates are. Um, now, Truck Stop has a similar tool. Uh, so these are my searches for Truck Stop. Um, here's one, right? Paying 3,800 bucks coming out of Ogden to Memphis. All right, they have a tool they call the rate estimate. Um, they're saying $3,055. Uh, $3, then they show you this little trend. You know, what's the four week trend? It's dropping again. Um, you know, uh, all this, all this stuff. What's good to do with DAT or with truck stop, um, is to grab DAT's quick rate search, right? And we'll jump back over to truck stop and throw it in here. See what DAT says that lane should be put. Whoops. See what DAT says that lane should be running for. And again, guys, these numbers are not perfect. They take the, they take whatever data these guys can get and they calculate it out. So, okay. So they're saying DAT saying 3000 or, or I'm sorry, truck stop saying 3000 DAT saying 3,600. Um, the posted rate of 3,800 is probably a pretty decent rate, right? You look at the two, 230 a mile. Um, that's probably a decent posted rate. I would probably just grab that and maybe see if they'll throw another hundred bucks, 200 bucks on it or whatever. But, uh, my point is, you know, if you take anything away from this video, guys, please, please, please understand that you need to know these lane rates. Two dollars a mile. Um, let's. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you right now. This is. Um, this is something, you you guys need to know. So let's say we're taking a load out of uh, back out of Winnebago, Minnesota, and we're going to. Rifle Colorado. Okay. All right. So I know that li I need to be banking 359 a mile or more going out there. And let me show you something really interesting. Watch what happens when I switch these. 
203. So you get you can see the average is way lower coming out of Colorado to Minnesota. So you need to make your money coming out. All right, knowing these lane rates, knowing what they are, gives you a better understanding of what you need to be asking for on your rates. Now, for those of you guys that are shipping direct, um, uh, these are broker to carrier spots right here. Even if you get pro, I do some uh, brokering on the side just a little bit for an agent. So I get the shipper to carrier contract. It, you guys don't really need that if you're just hauling. This is this is what you care about, the broker to carrier spot rate. Um, it's nice to know if you have it, but you, if the pro version you guys have, if you're not brokering, won't have it. Um, so you can see right now, spot market rates are above contract rates. So people on spot market are making good money. There's more volatility in the spot market. Sometimes you make more, sometimes you make less. Um, so there you go, guys. I hope this helps a little bit. I'm sorry about the unprofessionalism. I'm trying to figure out this <laughs> software here. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and I'll try to address them in my next video. And uh, I have a surprise for you. It's a little ways away, but I got another, may have gotten another truck. Uh, we're doing something really cool with it. I think really cool with it. Uh, it's going to be a few weeks till it's done, but I will, uh, once we get it all done, I'll share it with you guys. We'll do a walk around. I need to do a walk around my big trucks. My Mac is coming in um, off the road finally. Uh, and uh, so I'll do a walk around of the Mac with the step deck and show that to you guys too. So thank you all for watching and we will catch you next time.